Hey, this is Travis. This is a two-part series on BitTensor tokenomics. In this video, we're going to go over how emissions work. And then in the next one, we're going to use our emissions knowledge to get a better feel for how the market is doing right now. BitTensor's tokenomics mirror Bitcoin's tokenomics pretty closely. There is a maximum supply of 21 million Bitcoin, and there is also a maximum supply of 21 million BitTensor Tau. In Bitcoin, the mining reward is cut in half every four years. Tau also has a four-year halving schedule. And then in BitTensor, blocks happen around once every 12 seconds. And every block, emissions are distributed between subnet pools and participants. We're going to split emissions into three parts. Part one, every block, one Tau is divided amongst the subnet pools. Part two, every block, a variable amount of alpha is injected into the subnet pools. And lastly, part three, Every block, one alpha per subnet is distributed to the subnet participants. So if we compare BitTensor's tokenomics with Bitcoin's tokenomics, it looks fairly similar. They share a 21 million supply and four-year halvings. Let's also compare Bitcoin with subnet alpha tokens. There's a 21 million supply for both of them, whereas alpha tokens have a slightly quicker halvening schedule at two to three years. Valuation methods for alpha will likely look at the subnet's APY, which is affected by the root proportion as described in this video. Another thing to consider with valuation is how many halvings the subnet has had. At the time of this video, we've had no subnets go through a halving yet. One more thing to consider is how halvings affect emissions. Remember, there's two types of halvings in BitTensor. The tau halving schedule, which affects subnet pool emissions, and alpha halvings, which affect emissions going to participants. One of my opinions is that I believe that subnet prices will go down over the long run, simply due to the registration of new subnets that are going to compete for emissions. This isn't to say that all subnet prices will go down, just the average. But it is offset by the high APY we see in subnets. I also think that when valuing a subnet, it's important to know how old the subnet is so that I can gauge where it is in its emission cycle. But in addition, I want teams to be doxxed. I want to understand the incentive mechanism. I want to understand the total addressable market and more. I condense this information into five minutes in my subnet showcase series, link in the description. Also remember, this is part one of the tokenomic series. In part two, we look at graphs and more analysis. Remember that you can stake in two ways. You can stake tau on the root subnet, or you can stake alpha on any other subnet. Click below for the full video.